Hello, my name is Patrick Kaufman. Um, we are here at uh, Main Drag Music. This is where I have my um, repair shop. Um, these are my amplifiers that I just uh, designed and I'm selling. This is uh, the PKM 120. It's a 120 watt model block. Um, it can run ultra linear, triode, and a combination of the two mo modes at the same time. 120 watts in ultra linear, about 63 watts in triode, and 91 watts when it's combined. I took a lot of cues from uh, old radios. I restore old radios in my spare time and uh, has a dial for volume. Um, that's on off. In the back, it has adjustable feedback, um, which really makes this amp unique. Um, because you can dial in your preferred sound and you get a wide range um, of limiting and, and bringing in feedback. Um, it's pretty spectacular. Um, certain types of music, like jazz, you can open up a little bit less feedback. You increase distortion on the high end, but not high end frequency, but wattage. But it's so minute, you're talking about 0.05, less than 1%. So, also, what's unique about this amplifier, um, we're using mercury vapor, vapor vacuum tubes. There's actually gas inside, that's why it's glowing the way it is. You can switch them off, you can actually use solid state diodes. It's a different sound, it's quicker. Um, there's a switch in the back that lets you do both. So these are two um, 866 mercury vapor rectifiers. Here's uh, four KT88s. Um, you can also use EL34s, you know, KT66s. This is a cool tube. Uh, this was used in World War II as a radio tube. It's a seven watt uh, triode. Um, I'm only using it as a um, phase inverter and it has a fantastic sound. I probably tried 20, 30 tubes for the phase inverter and that one, the sound was just phenomenal. These are uh, two 7N7s. Um, they're really 6S N7s, um, but in a different pinout and uh, pin configuration. These are called Loctal tubes. These were kind of in a lot of uh, 50s and late 40s automobiles but it's identical to a success N7 spec wise. Fantastic, fantastic sound. And you can pick up RCA old stock tubes for half the price of a success N7. So that's kind of the, the tube layout. So yeah, this is a um, steel chassis. These are steel uh, transformer covers. Um, it's a huge choke overbuilt power supply right here. Power transformer, output transformer. Um, this is car paint. This is a custom color. I can do different colors. Um, a local body shop uh, paint, painted all this. Um, steel chassis, NOS uh, switches and knobs. So yeah, these are also built um, almost like an old piece of military radio gear. It's point-to-point -point wiring, uh, silver Teflon wire. More information on my website, uh, patrickkaufmanelectronics.com. This is the PKM55. Um, it's very similar to uh, the model blocks in the back, except it's half the power and it's a stereo integrated. Um, so you have three inputs. This is your input control over here. Volume, power. Also has the mercury vapor rectifier tubes on a switch. You can put them in circuit or out of circuit. 4 KT88, 55 watts, 55 watts. The two 7N7s. And then this is a 6F8, which is actually an old version of a 6SN7. Plate cap on top. 
custom color. Um, we can do different colors. Um, and uh, there's glass in between the transformers. Um, it looks really cool at night because it kind of shines up and behind. Um, again, I'm a radio guy, so anything that can kind of look like a radio. This doesn't have, it's ultra linear. It doesn't have the uh, different classes like the other ones. Um, and this one goes for uh, 6,500. Yeah, they're pretty much identical, except for uh, you have less options with this. I mean, the sound is, is just as rich. There's a fantastic sound stage, uh, very transparent. It has adjustable feedback like the other ones, so you can, you can go you know, pretty wide open. Um, so, you know, unless you have uh, maybe some electrostatic speakers, this might not be enough power for you. You might want to get the model blocks. But at 55 watts, it, it's fantastic. Fantastic. It fills this room up. People keep knocking on the glass thinking that we have a live band in here and they can't figure out where the sound's coming from.